testimony. One day in October 2019, I slept and I had a dream that there was a lump on my breast. People of God, I woke up and I found a very big lump on my breast. The lump was not there the previous day. I started praying, I started rubbing communion on my breast. I started, you know, I was just praying and begging God to make the lump disappear, but the lump just refused. So I told a friend of mine who is a medical doctor, he advised me to go to the hospital. And I went to the hospital, they did a lump extraction, they took the lump out. But then the wound wouldn't heal. They did everything, the wound wouldn't heal. They used honey, they used, just think of it, they did everything, the wound wouldn't heal. I was praying, God please heal this, heal my breast. Let me not carry wound around. Finally, God did it for me, the wound healed and I returned the glory to God. So fast forward maybe six months later, the, the place that the lump was removed, another tumor or lump started going back there. Just again, very big again, and I'm like, what is all this? So I went to the hospital, the nurse told me it might be scar tissue because I've, I've, I've had a surgery done there. So they decided to do a biopsy and the result came out that it was a cancer and the doctor told me that unfortunately it was a very hard to treat cancer. So I just took the matter to God, I brought it to this prayer altar and I was begging God, whatever this is, heal me of it, heal me of breast cancer, save your daughter. So the doctor started treating me with chemotherapy which was very very harsh on me. Meanwhile, when they did the diagnosis, they found that this cancer has spread to my lymph nodes and the doctor told me that they are going to take out my lymph nodes when I go for surgery. So this lump just started going back. By the time I will have the cyst cycle, it was not just going on my breast. Another tumor was already going on my abdomen, just above my navel. It was as big as the size of an egg. And I was begging God. I said, I'm not if I tell my doctor, I told God, if I tell my doctor this, they will fill me with fear. God, take away all this lump that are growing on my body, take away all this tumor, take away all this cancer. I knew how I was feeling and I knew the cancer was spreading because I, I, I knew within myself I wasn't feeling alright. So the doctor referred me to do an MRI scan. I told God. I don't want them to detect cancer on this MRI scan. Even the places they found cancer, I don't want them to see anything. I was begging God to come through for me. I was begging God. One day, Pastor Jerry asked us to raise the symbol of the things we wanted from God. I raised the MRI appointment letter that was sent to me. I told God, the cancer you cannot heal does not exist do it for me. I've claimed all the cancer testimony on this altar. I said, God, answer our prayer. Let the devil be put to shame. The day I will go for this MRI scan, all I will hear is good news. So I went for the MRI scan. The results came. They sent it to my doctor. My doctor invited me. I came for the doctor to interpret the result. While well, I was waiting to the doctor, I was assigned in the room. What God cannot do does not exist. I refuse to hear any sad news. I refuse to hear any news that the cancer has spread. Meanwhile, before then, the tumor that was growing above my navel, I woke up to join NSPPB one morning and I just, I used to place my hand on it. I just realized that the tumor has gone. Like, I didn't even know when it was gone. It just disappeared on its own. So, when the doctor came, the doctor was just telling me everything good. He said the cancer they found on the lymph node has disappeared. The one on my breast has shrinked. I am here to return all the glory to God. Who did this for me? The cancer God cannot heal does not exist. I am a living testimony. What God cannot do does not exist. Thank you, Pastor Jerry. Thank you for your efforts in making this prayer section happen every Monday to Friday. God bless you all. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist.